I'm too quick to react like cook and I do what I shouldn't. You can stop our bullets, don't end up like Junior Eastside, so we had to book them. Don't end up like I did, we had to beat them. Boy, greedy bullets will be beat them. What's good, Twitch? We're going back to you again with another one. You know how we hear man. So, let's jump in with Dan was actually going today. We got a video that's been going viral everywhere. Every platform you could think of, from NY Drill Official to No Jumper to World Star that we all grew up on, has posted this. It's been going viral on Twitter, Instagram, wherever. You feel me? I'm sure even Facebook. <laughs> And I've been waiting to see the final, and I've been waiting to see the full interview. You know the real, the real reason why this happened, because all we seen was clips of the punch. You feel me? I want to see how the situation began, for it to even escalate to that. And I'm glad we finally got it in front of us to watch and check it out. And I also want to say shout out to my bro Coco. You feel me? That's my guy. You feel me? You know I didn't. I didn't chilled around him a couple times and we done had numerous of conversations you know you guys might know if you follow me on instagram he done been on my live a couple times and um the situation is very unfortunate but i can't lie you feel me it, it, it definitely could be a good and a bad thing it's about how you how you you know you flip it and, and, and use it to your advantage nonetheless though today we got young uh, Vado or Vado? I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm just gonna say Vado because that's what I'm used to. Vado. <laughs> Sneak punches Coco show on Trapland TV. And with that being said, what I first do, let's get into the video. Oh, you guys are Trapland TV. I'm the host, Big Trap. You already know that. And right now we live on Trapland TV. Coco, what we doing, man? What we doing, Coco? How you doing, man? We got to get a second. We got to get a second. Yo, every 64, how you doing today? I'm showing, bro. I'm Gucci. I'm always Gucci, bro. Okay, okay, okay. So, look, bro, I got to give y'all proper projections before we go. Right now, we have two very important guests. We got the OG for social media shit. He's the pioneer, the self-proclaimed pioneer of the social media shit in Long Island. He has the live jumping, going crazy, niggas letting off him. We might as well get into all that. Nah, they still asking me. I ain't gonna lie, though. Um, the self-proclaimed thing, that was like a funny jab, you feel me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say self-proclaimed. The people are gonna give you that title. And I, I didn't heard a couple people, you know. That's how I actually got in introduced to Coco. A couple people was... was you know, putting me on to him, saying that. Shouts out to Smurf. Smurf was one of the first, you know, free Smurf. But a couple of people was putting me on to Coco. Like, yeah, like Coco, one of them names out here, you know. So I wouldn't say he's no self-proclaimed ish, you feel me? I, I'm like, you know, he do talk up himself a lot. But, you know, when you feel like you don't put in enough work, and sometimes you feel like niggas don't, don't, Give you that validation, you gotta give it to yourself. Before we get into it right now, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be legendary. Not about like it I definitely turned out you. legendary though. I so can't find to bring these two individuals up because you know it definitely turned out for a legendary Coco moment. One and X64, they both doing their thing on the media side, and uh they started on cool, I believe. I think they were like really like best friends or something like that. No, I don't know. I'm not even gonna say best friends. Okay, okay. wow. Okay, okay. Go, you said that was cool though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ain't gonna front though, it's kind of funny though. That, that Travis said that because I seen Coco showing, you know, receipts. You know when a nigga got receipts? I feel like Coco is the main nigga with receipts all the time. Like, he don't let a nigga go, <laughs> go unchecked. Like, like he always going to have the receipts of when you played yourself. Like, you know you played yourself, right? And Coco had mad videos of dude. I ain't going to front, though. Dude was looking like a fan. Yo, you know, Coco, this and that. Yo, we, we here with Coco and this and that. Like, it was kind of like, you know, little bro looking up to the big bro. Like, so to see this, it was kind of funny. But I don't know about the best friend thing. I just... Yeah, when I met him, when I met him, it was just... Listen, listen, listen. No, listen. Because you brought him up. So look, so when I met him, I was like, yo, listen, so the first time I went over there to Ben to do, I don't know, he wanted me to come and do another yeah, interview. Yeah, so it's like, the fifth one I came up there, okay. and they just had him up there. I'm like, okay, who is this? Is this the nigga that's supposed to challenge me? 
So mm-hmm. what he did was he did challenge me. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know. You know, I got my own shit going on. Yo, talk about the word challenge. We just debating who's the yeah, top rappers. You, you was there to challenge me. Challenge wrong with some different things. So you say challenge me. You was there. Bro, not no real challenge, bro. It's just. I like I like how he said it. Like it was supposed to be like a debate conversation. I like debates. I ain't gonna lie. You you state your point. I state my point. I didn't have one of those a sixteen shot him. Um, it was just the audio wasn't good, so we didn't get to put that out. But hopefully, when he comes back to the city, we could do that over again because the people need to hear that. But I have to say this though. I feel like Coco was a little bit too cool for school. Like he he just like <laughs> from the way he dressed too. I didn't go in front. That's a nice little fit, though. You feel me? The the Jays. I like the Jays with the with the hat. You feel me? But um. But yeah, he just a little bit too laid back. Like dude presenting that energy to him. Like like nigga, what? And he just on some. So, let's see how it carries on through the through the interview. Podcast shit, bro. That's what I'm going to challenge. Like that's what I'm talking about. That's easy. That's easy. Those niggas couldn't fuck with me. I mean, you can't either, but they try. But continue, right? I'm going to just listen. Because there's a lot you don't know. So, like, so don't you don't even know that he, he don't even know that he was my replacement on Burnout the Road. But continue. Oh. Not, no, 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 no. When, when you start blogging. He's he talking he crazy. He's he 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 talking he crazy to that boy. Blogging. You were my replacement on Burnout the Road. You know, you know why he's trying to dodge this question. It's 2019. 2019. Nigga, I started blogging last year. Bro, I, got over, I, I got over half a million views on YouTube and 1,500 subscribers and I monetized by them. What you been doing that YouTube? hell did that mean? What you do for Burn Out the Rowan? What's, what's, what's the most on? views you ever got them on YouTube? Because you keep, you keep on saying you turned them out. Uh, uh, I want to say something real quick, though. I had to give this Vado do his props because I like his work that they Due to the fact that when I typed in Coco Name to get to, to um, this interview, I see mad... <laughs> Uploads from Vado page. I seen that he uploaded the live with him and Coco going back and forth after the fight situation, which was smart, you know, could make money off of that. I seen that he dropped the podcast, explained the situation, meaning he ain't stopped working. So it's just like, you feel me? Like Coco doing random lives with, with, with different niggas. He ain't posting on his platform. Other platforms is posting it. It's like, I don't know, man. I know that everybody's everybody's been telling me to do a podcast. He just jumped in and I said, yo, I'm not with having artists come to your crib and sit on your what you call it. So until you could get some established shit, I'm out. His I, group chats, yo, bro, please, Ben. Ben is just uh, ego problem. Because Ben was trying to act like he ain't need me. It's just like that. Man, you see how much his, that nigga's crib go for a month. What do you mean? What, what are you talking about? about? Oh, man, like now. <laughs> we were talking about I've seen this first thing on there. I didn't want artists coming to his fucking crib and then in the living room doing a podcast. What are you talking about? What are you doing? What are they talking about? What are you talking about? Talking about? Talking about? Talking about? That's like the chat. You see? I mean, you gotta start somewhere. You feel me? Until you come up. You can't just rush the process. This is a, an establishment. No, it's not. But I do understand it for safety measures. Like, you feel me? Like, you don't want a bunch of niggas knowing where you live, nigga. Like, what the hell? So I can see it from both standpoints. Like, like nigga, we got to start somewhere. And I ain't going to lie, it's a safety hazard. Other niggas are saying this. Yeah. Because, because, because when they... Wait, wait, do you want me to go on? Do you want me to go on to the actual podcast? But he was, you can do that. And what? And what are you going to show me? Niggas is supporting you, right? No. no you tell me. Tell me what, what it is. Yo, I'm going to hit it. You know what? And hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But now you're supporting me. But not only that. Listen. Listen. I'm going to tell y'all straight up. The only reason why I started fucking with Ben and them, why? Because one of the baddest bitches from his group, I was fucking. That's why I went over there. She actually helped him. Let me tell you. Why would I say somebody's name? Why would I say somebody's name? You know this was fucking him? Okay. Oh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, what? In the parking lot? You know what? They bring the bitch to the Oh, that he going crazy. You said I'm going to walk. You know this fucking thing. How'd you be here? Trey, how'd you get here? Nigga said, how'd you get here, Trey? I ain't gonna lie. So you shot yourself in the foot with that one because you trying to play boy, but you talking as if you got the big whip outside and you whipping it. And he asked you like, nigga, how you get here? I, I I got hit by the train. Like, come on, man. That's why niggas gotta, gotta keep it humble. You feel me? We all come from 
similar backgrounds or even the same backgrounds or some might get it, got it better than others. So I come up there and he's there. I'm like, okay, cool. Now he's asking me all these questions. I didn't know what was. What questions am I asking you? Hold on. Did you know who I was? Hell the fuck no. You're lying. How am I lying? So you didn't know who I was before I went up there? How the fuck no, nigga? They told you. You're lying. 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 You can't curse while holding the Bible, my guy. Come on now. each other off like that. This is like a, they making this conversation too longer than it have to be because none of them want to just be quiet. How long they gonna keep saying? How long they gonna see, keep saying? So, so, so that's why I heard the situation came about. This whole run on sentences that y'all doing, trying to tell the one story, y'all can't get past it. My nigga, that was it. Like, he so he telling you how he look at you right there. At that moment, you should just hooked up on him. He basically saying he don't got no respect for you because you sitting in front of a nigga that violated you. He said, nigga, I violated you. And I'm sitting here with you. So I know that you're not like that. Because you just said that you a real street nigga and the dude that, that you was working with before that, he was a nerd or he was a civilian or he was a suburban kid. You feel me? So it's like, you basically trying, trying, trying. You feel me? Like, come on, Coco. You should have known the temperature from right there. Like, there's certain signals niggas, niggas give you or certain things niggas say to you that should alert you. Like, I'm like what you mean by that, boy? You should have got right there, snuff him. Here with the nigga. You serious? My father and my whole side both are never looking at me the same. Are you serious? Right now, nigga? Number one. Don't make it happen. Post no video like number that. Number one. Now you want to be real. Now you want to be real because number one, he's a cop chaser. Number one, he's a cop chaser. He's a cop chaser. He posted that video and that's why he's sitting here right now because he wanted mocked out. These niggas is weird. He, and then he's sitting there with the Bible talking about he ain't know who I was. This nigga's a weirdo. These niggas from, these niggas from out east is weirdo. And now you want to talk about shit. Half of them, you talk about the rest of your hood that you've been itching to 
soul. Can we talk about that? Did you want to talk about, oh, I would never die or not? Like, are you? Do you know who I am? Oh, I don't know who I am. You think I care about you talking about a video from 18 years ago? For real. Nigga, a video of me getting sexual assaulted. That's right. Coco, come on, man. The nigga asked you a video or what? You answered the nigga. And then the nigga said, ha ha, the nigga laughed in your face. And then said, you had seven niggas hold you down and take him. Bro, I, come on, man. There's no way he was supposed to get that next sentence out that he would have said, ha ha. He wasn't even supposed to get off the set. You supposed to run right in his jaw, right there. What? Boom! Hit him, hit him with your best shot. What? Bro, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. You was taking this thing for a joke. Like, I, it's like you were more worried about trying to look good on camera and impress these people in Long Island that you won the argument. Rather than standing up for yourself and, and, and for your dignity. Because it's just no way, my nigga. No way. Like, I want to go back right now because the nigga really just violated you. Like, he violated you. <laughs> oh my god, bro. And that nigga, he hits my shorty up, the, the crash out Coco, the street nigga Coco. He hit my shorty up talking about how you know if I beat the nigga up. Bro, ain't no nigga to do that to me. And I'm trying to play him. Yo, all right, track me. I'd have clapped him. I'm sorry. I'm dead serious. I'd have clapped that nigga. You can't go. Certain niggas just got to get clapped. Even if you don't want to do it, you got to do it. Even if you ain't got the heart to do it. A nigga got the heart to do that to you, you got to clap a nigga. I'm clapping a nigga. I'm different. I'm different, man. I don't know you, nigga. So you tell them. What are you talking about, street nigga? What are you talking about? You the one talking about that you in the street. You say that the whole entire time. You didn't say that. Nigga, I don't know you. Do I take you serious as a street nigga? No. Damn. Oh, my God. These niggas want me. These niggas want me. To see that they the real deal. You know why? Because my opinion, my opinion matters in Long Island. Have these niggas look? My opinion matters. You know why? Because I'm the voice. These niggas can say this. These niggas can say that. Bro. And that's in the Bible. Yeah, that's what the Bible. They can say this. They can say that. But I'm not here because of him. He's here because of me. You should have had security in there. You talking about restoring order. This is not internet and this is real life. Let him Because if they kind of not, let's be real. Let's keep it going. Nigga, the cameras wasn't even there just to talk. You wouldn't even link up with me. What are you talking about? What is going to link up? Okay. Now, he trying to call you soft, right? Like indirectly. You like nigga, like you wouldn't come to see me and link over me after I did you dirty online, my nigga. Oh my god. Tried to get the nigga a pound? Yo, yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I have no words for you at this moment. This nigga said he put out a video of you. This nigga said he put out a video of you getting and laughed in your face. Just from the, the him pointing out the video on you, you should have met up with him. Let's just get that across. That means he ain't got no respect for you. Even though it was a couple videos that I seen of him coming off as a fan to you, you feel me? Once he did that, the respect was out the window. Like it's none of that. Like I see you, I'm gonna spit on you. I'm gonna spit. What? I'm a I'm a really violate you for how you played with me. Like 
even if we gotta take me and my man's to do it, like you don't feel like you can beat the nigga up on your own or something. You should have like had him pull up. You feel me? Had him pull up, violate him. Oh, you thought? Oh, you thought we was here for that for real? Oh, you stupid. Boy, stop. Like I don't know, man. I knew he's bad. I knew he's bad. So what I do? I, I what I do? I fucking what I do? What's that shit for? I baited him. Oh, you trying to have something in that so you pulled up to a crib that I'm not even at. Niggas could have spanked you. Niggas know exactly where his shit is at. Ain't no sprinkling up. Ain't not from the hood. Niggas will beat the shit out of him. And the only... I ain't gonna lie. That sound... That sound... That sound... I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Cooper. That sound... That sound weird. Like, you gonna drop Addy, but to a location that you not at? Like, that's... Come on, man. Come on. You saying baited him to make it sound cool, but that's not cool. Like, like if I'm dropping Addy, I'm supposed to be at that location. That's just the rules. Like, I'm not gonna drop Addy. I let you rock, and we left alone. You know why? Yes. The only, like, oh my soul. The only reason why niggas let you left you alone and left you rock, you know why? Because if me and you go at it, somebody's gonna die. Yeah. Only my soul. 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 Only it's more to it. That's why I like you rock. I ain't go front. <laughs> like, look, man, Coco, you was talking very heavy at this point right here. Like, I get what you was trying to say. Like, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm like, I get what you were trying to say and what you was, you know, trying to allude to. Like, yo, probably he got niggas on his side that's going to ride for him. And I got niggas on my side that's going to ride for me. But it's the way you said it, though. Like, uh, and, and that word wasn't even supposed to come out your mouth. You should have just kept that in your pocket. Like, like I know this. Like, you feel me? You never show your hand too much. And you, you just threw your hand all the way out there. Like, so I ain't going front. The energy he gave you after this point was was warranted because of that word was said. So leave it alone. Yes. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. I've been doing this shit before. Oh, my soul. <laughs> when you said that... He asked you again, though. He asked you again to make sure that his ears is not clogged. That you said that word. He said, somebody going to die. Let's go back to Because even he flabbergasted that that word came out. Oh, somebody going to oh, die. Look at and You jumped up and said, oh, my soul. Nigga, like, you, you, you just verified a hundred for him right there. Like, yo, nah. That's why I let you rock. So leave it alone. Yes, that's all my soul. Hey, y'all, listen, y'all. I've been doing this shit for four years, y'all. I've been talking shit to everybody. Who has ever put a hand? Oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck them. Yo, I can't help it, though. Because it's... You got to look at the charge up, son. Like, just look at the charge up. Look at the nigga face, son. But then look how he, when he got up, the nigga used all his force. He said, Ugh, like a nigga coming off a football field. Like, he about to tackle a nigga. The nigga gave you the uppercut from hell. You ever heard about the choke slam from hell, Kane? The nigga gave you the uppercut from hell. That nigga, oh my God. That, that, that uppercut was for his ancestors. <laughs> that nigga used the power from his ancestors to deliver you, son. There's no way, man. Nah. Nah. Yes, on my soul. On oh, my hey, soul. Listen, I've been doing this shit for four years, y'all. I've been talking shit to everybody. Who has huh? <laughs> You ain't even get to get the last word out, Coco. I know you about to say hand, hand on. The nigga said, huh? The nigga laid the hands on you. Way to smack it down on you. He almost gave you the people's elbow. And you saying you a street nigga, Coco. Like you've been you been flexing that that word very hard in this interview. A nigga that's a street nigga. Once them words come out, you should have been on high alert for yourself because you should know that you gotta pay attention now. You just you just put that word out there. Like a nigga like you just basically told the nigga his life is on the line. And then you just kept talking. You turned your head away from him and everything. You went to a whole speed. It's on my soul. Hey, y'all, listen, y'all. I've been doing this shit for four years, y'all. I've been talking shit to everybody. Who has ever put a hand to me? 
to y'all. I've been doing this shit for four years, y'all. I've been talking shit to everybody. You hear that? I've been putting hands. Oh my God. He was putting all hands on you. Hands, feet. Oh. The the leg lock by Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> no nah, man, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, yo. I've been waiting to see this interview for like a good five days now. And I'm glad I got to finally check it out. All I want to say is this this was good entertainment, but I feel like you guys sent down was a waste of time. Due to the fact that y'all didn't even resolve anything. Due to the fact that you shouldn't even have signed up to, to sit with no nigga that violated you the way he did. You're supposed to just see him and put hands and feet on him as soon as he, he popped off the train. As soon as he hopped off the train or wherever you seen him, the first, second, hands and feet on him. He took you for a joke. He didn't take you serious at all. Whole conversation, it wasn't, it wasn't no... The whole conversation, you should have just known the temperature that he was on that... It was no respect in that room, and you should have just let the situation alone. It was a funny video. I enjoyed myself because I ain't going front. That uppercut was was it. Like that uppercut was was very, like. <laughs> that uppercut, <laughs> that uppercut was heard around the world. But as I said, you could turn it into a W. You know, get on the right platforms, get a couple interviews done, get a bag, but. It kind of, it kind of, you know, made you a laughing stock because now we all finding out the reason why you guys sat down and what he did to you. That should never happen. It's your boy Crypto Man. Like, subscribe, share, request. Press that bell for your post notification. Press that subscribe button, people. I'm out.